<laughs> hey guys and welcome to Halmstad, Sweden. Today we're doing something we should have done ages ago. We're gonna talk about B4, the fantastic car I have here beside me, or behind me actually. This is B4 in the pit stop garage, so it's Bil 4, Betan 4, uh, in English you would say car 4, because it's the fourth V10 car that uh, we acquired for the pit stop garage. But this is a very special car indeed. As you probably can see from yeah, probably the thumbnail and the title, this is an Audi R6 C6 Avant. So this is the V10 double turbo monster that Audi manufactured in uh, 2010 for this model because this is uh, R6 Plus. So the last 500 manufactured from Audi to just showcase this insane insane project that they did when they put V10 engines in freaking normal wagons. So this actually has a 5 liter V10 compared to the 5.2 liter in the S6, but yeah, it has two turbos as well. So this car has 580 brake horsepower stock. This car now has 700 brake horsepower and 950 newton meter of torque which is crazy numbers. If you look at the car from the outside, you can see that it's in Daytona gray. You have the RS grill that is more aggressive than uh, the S6 grill. This car also has a Maxton front spoiler, which makes it a bit more aggressive. But the main thing that also differentiates this body from the S6 body is that it has a wider stance, four to eight centimeters wider in, in total, which you can see uh, with the tires. It's just wider and more aggressive. Uh, it's the stock RS6 wheels, 20 inches and 275 millimeter wide tires. And guys, one thing also worth mentioning is that this car also has ceramic brakes. Super grippy and also super expensive to replace when they break. Just an amazing car overall. And it's completely stock exterior wise, except of the Maxton spoiler and yeah, we're going to take a look at the engine bay and also inside the car before we go out for a little ride. Okay, let's take a look under the bonnet on this beast. Here we have it. It barely fits, to be honest, uh, but this is also an engineering marvel or madness. I don't know the definition here, to be honest. We have the Audi V10, 5 liter version, two turbos and a lot of power and torque. It's, it's pretty crazy what they did back then. Uh, it happened once, it would never happen again. V10s in normal, uh, in normal wagons. You have the RS6 Plus with the, the carbon fiber uh, details uh, on, the, on the engine. And uh, yeah, it just makes it pop a bit more. It could have been cleaner, but this is an, a daily driver. Uh, the Count is driving this and it's driven it 4,000 miles. Swedish Neil <laughs> the last uh, couple of years. So it has been out and about, but yeah, immense power potential in the V10 engines. Two other big differences between the RS6 and the S6 C6 is if you look at the back of the car, except that it's wider, it also has a much more aggressive uh, rear diffuser and also this two big oval uh, exhaust pipes. The S6 actually has four smaller pipes. And this car actually has the stock exhaust system, but the back boxes, the bigger uh, mufflers, have actually been totally clean from all the dampening material. So it has a bit of a grunt uh, compared to uh, the, the stock system. So a lot more burble and uh, yeah, you will hear that in this video, of course, as well. So let's get in the car. Ah, this is where the magic happened, guys. Uh, so we're inside the car now. Just gonna run through it pretty quickly. Compared to the S6 uh, Avant, you have a more aggressive RS steering wheel, flat bottom, more grippy feel. And you also have in this, the RS6 Plus model, you have the leather here on the dashboard. 
you have a black a glossy uh, exterior here with the the dash and you also have the carbon fiber trim all over this car and you actually have a small plaque here that says rs6 plus 483 out of 500 made so yeah a really nice place to be the real downside of a car from 2010 is of course that the mmi the interface in the car is super old to be honest uh, so the count has solved that by installing a 4g tablet android tablets you can have google maps uh, Waze, uh, spotify whatever you want and uh, it makes the car so much more 2020 at least so a really nice upgrade interior wise otherwise you have the full leather uh, sport seats and yeah it's a really really luxury car i mean this is 12 years old and it still feels really premium and with a more proper mmi it's just a great car overall uh, and did we say that it has 700 brake horsepower yeah i think we're gonna go out and get a feel for how that actually is on the road. Guys, the RS6 C6 is the definition of an Audubon cruiser. It's big, it's luxurious, it's comfortable, and it's freaking fast. I mean, even with the stock 580 brake horsepower, it's a quick machine, but with 700 horsepower and 950 newton meter of torque, it just keeps pulling. And it's, it's hard to like convey how fast it feels because in one way it doesn't feel that fast because it's such a big and, uh, and luxurious and just comfortable car so you don't really realize how fast you're going until you look down at the speedometer a uh, speedometer sp speedometer <laughs> speedometer and it shows like very very high numbers but you know when you press the pedal it just kicks you in the gut <laughs> and flies so yeah that was uh, a bit more than 80 kilometers per hour just a crazy feeling and as long as you stay in a straight line this will kill almost anything on the road and uh, the count who's had this car for many years now he told me the other day he honestly haven't been uh, he haven't l lost a, a race on the road at any point in time he's beaten Lamborghinis Ferraris uh, BMWs I mean AMG's of course there are cars that are faster than this but you really need to pony up a lot of cash to get a car that can yeah reach these speeds and the one funny thing is that the rs6 c6 is actually capable of higher top speeds than the rs6 c7 uh, it's because of the gearing in the gearbox uh, so if you tune this go to the autobahn and uh, you're aiming for 300 plus kilometers per hour this will actually beat a C7 as well. And I mean, this tuned uh, C6 uh, RS6 will also, of course, beat a stock RS6 C7. A tuned RS6 C7, uh, that's a different story. Uh, basically, mostly because of the gearbox. The gearbox in this car is a six speed single clutch uh, gearbox. So it's, uh, it's not a dual clutch gearbox. So it's pretty slow and the gearbox is not tuned in this car you can make it a bit faster and more aggressive so that is to come if you look at performance numbers you honestly don't want to do any standstill pulls with these cars too often because the, the torque is just so insane that you easily break stuff it is what it is when you push it this hard with the 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 stock components in the car so the count has gotten 3.9 seconds zero to 100 kilometers per hour but that was with pretty bad conditions and similar similar cars with the same uh, horsepowers we just the r6 c6 with the normal tune can reach 
3.4, 3.5, 0 to, 6, uh, 0 to uh, 100 kilometers per hour or 62 miles per hour, which is pretty damn fast when you consider that the gearbox is the most limiting factor. And when you're looking at like high, high speed uh, pulls on the, on the freeway and stuff, this is a killer when it's just all about the engine and the torque. So yeah, a super fast highway hunter that is not really, or it's not designed at all for slippery uh, and nice canyon roads. And you know, it has the quattro understeer and uh, it's a two ton car for Christ's sake. You can't expect too much, but just a crazy sensation to reach these insane speeds so effortlessly and uh, just take any car on the road that you want and more or less humiliate them. <laughs> <laughs> oh guys we have a bmw behind us he wanted to play but he's still behind us that's the that's the key part of the story and now he's coming back <laughs> oh my god And there we have the ceramic, the ceramic brakes works. Yeah, he doesn't look all that happy. He tried, he tried. <laughs> okay, we have a roundabout here and I think we have a straight over here. Let's see if we can do some fun stuff. We have it in sport mode or sport mode for the gearbox that is. The gearbox is actually not tuned by the way. So this is fully stock gearbox and just Pedal to the metal. <laughs> yep, that's a bit faster than uh, I'm supposed to do. <laughs> it just continues to push. It's insane. And you get that feeling in your gut. It just... Ah, the, the, the feeling in your gut that my girlfriend hates. <laughs> she, she gets seasick or car sick. Uh, straight away oh my god it's such a different feeling when you have that turbos uh, the turbos kicking in and um, yeah it's a quick and the count uh, he's had the this car and the, the other r6 for i think i think it's three four years now and uh, he's having a really hard time to replace them because with just a normal ship tune you get the performance that is like almost impossible to get in a car today if you don't put in 100,000 uh, US dollars. And these cars now, you can get one for, I would say, 20 to 30,000 US dollars. Uh, and the downside is that it's a V10 engine. It can easily, you can easily get into troubles where you have to completely pull out the engine and uh, it takes a lot of money to keep these cars up and running. But that's where the Baron comes into the picture. Without the Baron, there would be no pit stop V10 garage. I can tell you that much because he is the V10 mastermind. So yeah, these cars are super expensive to keep running when it comes to fuel and uh, repairs, but there's just something special about a normal station wagon station wagon with a v10 engine and in the rs6 case two turbos as well it's, it's just insane yeah so in summation guys should you go looking for an rs6 c6 uh, on the market well it depends to be honest i would say that if you have the knowledge or the means to keep these cars running it's an awesome and unique machine it won't be the most fun car to drive uh, but it will make you giggle it happened to us earlier we <laughs> slaughtered that bmw and it's a super fast car with a lot of performance and it's just a just a really really nice place to be in the cabin of an r6 c6 uh, it doesn't feel as old as it is if you get one Make sure to, f to get a tablet, some sort uh, like this, uh, exchange the MMI to a newer model or of course also make sure that you do something with the exhaust. The car in stock form 
is too, too muted for what it is. It's a freaking V10 with two turbos. <laughs> it should sound as, uh, as, it, as powerful as it is. So otherwise, it's a unique car. It was uh, made one time in history and will it will never happen again. Uh, fossil fuel is going out the window in total and uh, V10s in a normal family wagon. Yeah, that's unique. So that's all for us today. Uh, we don't normally do this kind of videos. Uh, if you guys find this interesting, if you like it, we will of course continue as much as we can. And we have other cars in the pit stop garage that probably could use uh, some kind of a presentation. So make sure to hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, and of course, let us know in the comments if you have some ideas of what you want to see content wise and what you think about the content we've done so far. Take care guys, see you later. <laughs> Any cops? I can't see it. No. Let's try.